Hi guys, I'm going to recap a 2022 action crime mystery movie, called, Bullet Train. This movie follows the story of an unlucky assassin with an important mission inside a bullet train. Starting with a simple task, the mission grows dangerous once he encounters other assassins in the train, each with their own agenda. Can he stick to his own mission and survive until the very end? Let's find out. In Tokyo, a retired assassin called Ladybug is back in action. With his handler on the phone, he opens a locker within the train station. Inside are all his requirements for the mission, but Ladybug does not take the gun provided. He quickly gets on a train before it departs. His handler briefs him on his mission. It is quite simple, he only needs to grab a briefcase with a train sticker on the handle. In the middle of his briefing on the phone, he is approached by the train staff. He is checking for his ticket for the train seat. Ladybug fishes his pockets but cannot find any tickets. He hands him a receipt instead. The train staff looks at him and tells him he needs to get out at the next stop. Ladybug walks around to the compartment car to find the briefcase. He deduces that money must be inside of the briefcase, as it usually is. After a short time, he easily finds the briefcase and takes it with him. He hides it under his jacket. His handler instructs him to immediately leave the train with it. Meanwhile in the executive class, Yuichi is walking around, looking for someone. He suddenly stops beside a small girl wearing all pink clothing. He whips his pistol and points it at her. However, seeing her surprised and panicked face, he retreats. He doesn't think this innocent woman is the person he is looking for. He starts apologizing and is about to walk away when she suddenly attacks him with a taser. He falls unconscious into the next seat. He finds the correct person after all. When Yuichi wakes up, he is tied to his chair. The woman introduces herself as the prince. She knows that he is here to kill her, but hands him his gun back with her hair ties. Before he can pick up his gun, she makes a quick phone call to her henchman. If the henchman does not hear from her every 10 minutes, then he will kill his son, Wataru. Yuichi realizes that they have his son as a hostage. Now he can't kill her without making sure Wataru is safe from harm. Yuichi asks what the prince wants from him. She smiles and replies she wants him to kill the white death. In the economic class, a man just wakes up from his slumber. With him are two agents with the codename Lemon and Tangerine. They are hired by the man's father, the White Death, to fish his son out of trouble. The White Death is a leader of the largest criminal organization in the world. Lemon and Tangerine tie the man to his seat so he can not escape. To finish their mission, they will have to get off the Kyoto station with the man and a briefcase. However, when Lemon goes to retrieve the briefcase, it is not where he left it. Ladybug has taken it. Tangerine and Lemon leave the White Death's son to plot on how to get the briefcase back. However when they return, his son is dead. Now they are in serious trouble. The train halts on its first stop. This is Ladybug's cue to leave the train. Just as he's about to get off, a guy in white suit, the wolf, stabs him. Fortunately, the knife pierces his phone instead of his chest. They fight each other by throwing things around the train. Eventually, the wolf throws his knife at Ladybug. But he defends himself with the suitcase and the knife bounces right back at the wolf. It pierces his heart, instantly killing him. Ladybug cleans the whole place up to cover up the mess. The train halts at the next stop. Ladybug hurries up to leave but almost gets caught by Lemon. He has no idea Lemon is also after the briefcase, but he knows he is another agent. Taking caution, he moves to another carriage, but it is too late. The door is already closing. He will have to get off at the next stop. Ladybug goes back to the wolf's corpses to take his phone. He calls his handler to report that he missed his stop. He also finds out why the wolf is after him. He was the server at the wedding where his wife was killed, but he did not remember his mission there. While on the phone, he finally encounters Tangerine. Ladybug remembers him as Lemon's partner, but Tangerine does not seem to know who he is. Ladybug quickly ends their short encounter to escape. Tangerine tries asking around the train if anybody has seen the briefcase. The prince overhears this and tells him Ladybug is carrying the briefcase with him. She doesn't know who they are, or what the briefcase is for, but she is now intrigued. 
After Tangerine leaves, she quickly searches the bar where the wolf fought Ladybug. In the trash can, she finds the briefcase everyone is looking for and takes it with her. She locks Yuichi in the bathroom and forces him to open the briefcase. Having no idea what the combinations are, Yuichi is left to guess by himself. Back at the economic carriage, Lemon is just informed about Ladybug who has the briefcase. Just as he finishes reading the text, the man himself shows up in front of him. Ladybug offers him a win-win solution. He will hand them the briefcase, and they will not have to fight. He doesn't care that he will fail his mission, he just wants to peacefully get off the train. Lemon is skeptical of his offer and accuses him of killing someone on the train. Lemon thinks Ladybug killed the White Death's son. But because he never specifies who he killed, Ladybug thinks Lemon knows about the wolf. He is surprised but admits it was an accident. Lemon points out that he probably wants to blame the death on them. That's why he makes such an easy offer. They begin fighting each other until Ladybug gets the upper hand and knocks him unconscious. With Lemon's phone, Ladybug gives an update to his handler. He thinks there is a third party in play, someone who killed the White Death's son. He is killed the same way the wolf's wife was killed. The killer was someone who the wolf was after. After some time, Yuichi is able to guess the combination for the briefcase. It opens to a lot of money inside, like Ladybug predicted. The prince takes out a device from her bag and installs it in the briefcase. She explains that it is an explosive. There have been a total of 31 failed assassination on the White Death. He always executes every single one of them with their own weapon. The prince reveals that the plan is for Yuichi to try to kill the White Death and fail. He will have to execute Yuichi with his own gun that the prince modified. This new gun will backfire on the shooter and kill the White Death himself. The briefcase will act as their second plan if the first one doesn't work. The prince even reveals that she pushed Yuichi's son out of the building for this exact reason. Since he works for the White Death, she needs Yuichi. They walk out of the bathroom, but are stopped by Lemon. He asks if they've seen Ladybug or the briefcase anywhere. But the prince accidentally lets it slip that she knows how the briefcase looks. Lemon gets suspicious at this and whips his gun out. In the bathroom, Ladybug is hiding away from everyone. His handler reveals crucial information on the Hornet. She is an assassin that uses snake venom that will make the victim bleed out everywhere. If the antidote isn't administered within 30 seconds, the victim will die. It is the same poison that was used on the wolf's wife, and likely, the white death's son. The wolf must have found out who the Hornet is, and come to the train to kill her. Ladybug finally finds his new mission. He needs to find the Hornet and hands her to Lemon and Tangerine to prove his innocence. But just as he comes to this realization, Tangerine arrives. They fight each other and almost kick each other out of the door. Before Tangerine can stab Ladybug with a pair of chopsticks, his phone rings. It's the White Death. They want him to get off at the next stop with Tangerine while holding the briefcase. If they do not do as they say, the whole train will be blown up. Tangerine hangs up and asks Ladybug if he has the briefcase with him. Ladybug tells him no, but they could probably make it work. Since they have never seen Lemon's face before, Ladybug offers to dress up as Lemon. They use a random briefcase for show. Things seem to be working out, but suddenly the briefcase opens. It reveals ladies' clothings, not the cash like it should. Their covers have been blown. They quickly get on the train before the Yakuza can get them. On their next stop, Ladybug is about ready to leave. He couldn't care less about the briefcase. He tells Tangerine the exact location of where he left it. But before he can take a step out, Tangerine stops him. Although he knows where the briefcase is, he still needs a scapegoat for the son's death. Counting down the second, Ladybug kicks him out of the train. It is just enough time that the door closes and Tangerine is stuck outside. He quickly runs after the bullet train and gets on top of the train. He punches a hole and gets back inside. Ladybug heads back inside the executive compartment to get the briefcase. It is still in the same place he left it after the prince put it back. He grabs an envelope inside the wolf's jacket to find a picture of the hornet. Just in time, she shows up as one of the train staff and attacks him. After some struggle, Ladybug manages to have her in a choke hold. He finds out that she gets her order to kill the White Death's son online. 
her payment for the assassination is contained in the briefcase. With this information, Ladybug kills her with her own venom. Inside the train, Lemon is trying to read who is in charge between the prince and Yuichi. He asks them both to close their eyes and points their finger at the boss. The prince points at Yuchi and Lemon shoots him. He drags his bleeding body to the bathroom. While the prince is tying up the door, Lemon sees the gun inside her bag. He gets suspicious and points his gun at her once again. But before he can do anything, he passes out to the floor. He has been drinking the water that was drugged by Ladybug before. She grabs his fallen gun and shoots him in the chest. Not long after, Tangerine meets the prince. At first he was fooled by the innocent girl act, but finds a hint left by Lemon behind her clothes. Lemon has marked her as a Diesel, the villain they are looking for. But just as he is about to shoot her, Ladybug comes in to tackle him. They fight for the gun and the shot rings out. Tangerine is shot in the neck. Before his death, he tries to tell Ladybug about the girl. However, his speech is muffled by all the blood spluttering and Ladybug can't understand him. Now left with just the two of them, Ladybug insists on leaving at the next stop. But the prince fools him by acting like her backpack is stuck to the chair. She can't leave the train at the next stop. Taking pity on the girl, Ladybug decides to stay with her until Kyoto, where the white death awaits them. While they are talking, Yuichi's father, the elder, overhears the prince talking. He recognizes her from his urgent call with Yuichi. Getting concerned after hearing no replies from him, he has come to the train himself, amid the danger. While Ladybug is away, he lets the prince know that Wataru is already safe at the hospital. He has his minion come to kill her henchman. She can no longer hold him hostage. The prince realizes she's getting outsmarted by the elder and leaves. When Ladybug returns, he warns him about the prince and tells his story. A long time ago, the White Death killed his entire clan where he and his son are the only survivors. Since then, he has planned his revenge. They both head into the bathroom where Yuichi and Lemon are locked up. Surprisingly, they are both still alive. Lemon has been wearing a bulletproof vest the whole time and survives the shot from the prince. All of them vow to stop the White Death by working together. The train stops at Kyoto, where the White Death awaits them. The prince is the first one to meet him heads on. It turns out, she is his own daughter. She points her gun at him, expecting him to kill her with the same gun. But he refuses to do it and leaves the train. Outside, Ladybug is captured with the briefcase. While his goons are distracted with opening the case, Ladybug asks him why he hires all of them inside the train. He figures that the anonymous contract is all him so they will try killing each other in the process. The White Death confesses that it is indeed deliberate. He hired Lemon and Tangerine for killing his entire crew before. Because of that, he had to go to Bolivia and leave his wife alone in Tokyo, where she got hit. It was supposed to be an attempt on his life, not his wife's. Next, he hired the Hornet because she killed the best heart surgeon that could have saved his wife. He also hired her to kill his own useless son because he kept getting in trouble. The night of her death, she was on her way to save him from prison time. Last, he hired the assassin that killed his own wife, named Carver. Hearing this, Ladybug is alarmed. This whole time, he was only assigned this mission to fill in for Carver. He screams that he is not Carver and they got the wrong guy. But his scream is unheard as the briefcase explodes after being opened. Taking this as their cues, the guys kill all the White Death's goons inside the train. All that is left is the final battle between the White Death and the Elder. While they fight with their samurai, Ladybug and Lemon try to stop the bullet train from moving. They are interrupted by a lot of Yakuza, but Lemon manages to defeat them all. To protect Ladybug, he tackles one of them out of the door, along with himself. They fall into a lake as Ladybug watches from above. He eventually manages to pull the emergency brake on the train. Just in time, the White Death is about to shoot the Elder. Because of the sudden break, all of them lose their balance. This is enough for Yuichi to throw a water bottle at the White Death's hand and knock the gun away. While he is distracted, the Elder picks up his sword and severely injures him. The train crashes into a concrete wall and falls off the cliff. The survivors of the bullet train come out one by one. The White Death is still alive and tries to shoot a helpless Ladybug. 
Although he has told him multiple times that he is not his wife's killer, the White Death doesn't care. He shoots him with the prince's gun and it backfires on him. The White Death is finally dead. The prince appears behind him and threatens to kill all the survivors off. But before she can take another step, a truck carrying tangerines driven by Lemon hit her. The prince now is also dead. Yuichi and the elder bid their farewell to Ladybug. At last, Ladybug's handler comes to pick him up. Overall, it has been quite a successful, although unlucky mission for Ladybug. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.